Are we uh, understanding the hint? Are we getting what we are talking about today? Let's talk about Star Wars! Yes! So, a few days ago, the teaser trailer for Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, was released and I was in excitement like I was a child on Christmas Eve and all I saw was presents and snow and I cried and I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be proud of that or not. So the first thing that really happens in this trailer is that you see Tatooine. We all kind of understood there was going to be Tatooine. And then you hear a voice saying, this has been an awakening. I did think for two and a half seconds that it was Benedict Cumberbatch. It wasn't. It was Andy Serkis, which is just great in itself. But for two and a half seconds, I was really excited over the fact that Benedict Cumberbatch was in Star Wars. He's not, but I did think so. And when the words has been spoken, you just see John Boyega just popping up on screen in a Stormtrooper outfit. And you're like, huh? Stormtrooper. And then you start to think about the fact that Han and Luke dressed up as Stormtroopers, but they weren't Stormtroopers, so maybe he's not a Stormtrooper. He might be, but he might also not be, if that makes any sense. I don't know, my brain is just swirling, swirling, swirling. And then you see some shots on Tatooine and it's just very exciting. The sound effects in this trailer is just... It sounds like Star Wars. Mm. Is it weird that I'm very excited about the sound effects? Because everything sounds like they are supposed to sound. Do you get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? It sounds like Star Wars. Why shouldn't you be excited about that? And then you see the stormtroopers and you can see kind of small changes in them. But you can just still see that it is stormtroopers. And then you see the X-Wing pilots also there, small changes, but you still see that, you know, it's X-Wing pilots, you're like, yes! And then you see a forest and this dark shadow, because shadows aren't dark in normal cases, just in Star Wars. Stupid. You see this shadow just walking in the forest and then he pops out a lightsaber and I just freaked out. And then he pops out two small ones from the side. It looks like the bloody Camelot sword. Is it called Camelot sword? I don't know. I don't know if I'm very, very excited about this or not, but I don't really give a damn because it's a, it's a, it's a lightsaber. It's a lightsaber. And then when you've seen this mysterious shadow walking through the woods with this lightsaber just popping out, you see the Millennium Falcon. You see the Millennium Falcon and you just hear the Star Wars theme and I freaked the F out and then you just see Star Wars The Force Awakens and I was in tears. It looks like a Star Wars fan has had the opportunity to make a Star Wars movie and it looks amazing. It doesn't look like somebody just, ah, I'm gonna do a Star Wars movie. It looks like a genuine fan just got the opportunity to I hate my fucking neighbors. Looks like JJ Abrahams is a huge fan of it and that just brings so much faith to this and I'm so happy at the moment and I'm just... I showed the trailer to my dad and he was sitting quiet for a while and was a bit nervous because the trailer is just one and a half minutes so I was like, is he going to react? And then the Stormtroopers came on and he was like, Stormtroopers. Stormtroopers. And I was like, Stormtroopers. And the Camelot lightsaber came on. And it was like, lightsaber. Like, yeah, lightsaber. <laughs> and then the Millennium Falcon came on. And I was like, it's the Falcon. It's the Falcon. And I was like, yes, that is the Falcon. And it was like, it was great. It was great. So, yeah, we are, we're a bit excited in this house at the moment. Even though we have to wait a whole fucking year for this movie. I'm still very excited for it. I'm about to start crying, so we're gonna stop this video now. So thank you so much for watching, but came to one another and yourself, and it has never felt this good to say these words before. May the force be with you. Bye! I'm really, really excited. I'm so excited I can just pull my hair out, which I won't because it's too damn painful. But it's probably more painful waiting a year for this goddamn movie.